morning, brothers and sisters. Merry Christmas to all of you once again. Uh, today we gather to celebrate this Christmas dawn mass. And as we gather, we will pray for Manuel Rodri Rodriguez. That's the brother of uh, Maria. So let's pray for his family. And let's pray for Sister Maria as well, that God may bless their families. So with all of our intentions for the Christmas joy and peace in our families, let us begin this celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, as we came together to give thanks to God for sending His Son, Jesus, to, the, to all of us as the Savior, and let us thank God for the gift of Him to all of us, because He truly loves us unconditionally loves us. So let us thank him for the gift of his love to us. And let us bow and wholeheartedly give him thanks. And also let us acknowledge our sinfulness. Let us acknowledge our failures, our shortcomings, and ask him his pardon and mercy and celebrate the sacred mysteries in a worthy manner. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call us, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. <laughs> And we pray, Almighty God, that as we are bathed in the new radiance of your incarnate word, the light of faith which illumines our minds may also shine through in our deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. See your salvation comes. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord has proclaimed to the end of the earth, say to your daughter Zion, see your salvation comes. His reward is with him and his recompense before him. They shall be called the holy people, the redeemed of the Lord. And you shall be called, sought out, a city not forsaken. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm found on page 31. This day new light will shine on the earth. The Lord is born. This day new light will 
Rejoice you just in the Lord, give glory to his holy name, this day. The goodness and loving kindness of God has saved us. A reading from the letter to St. Paul of Titus. When the goodness and loving kindness of God, our Savior, appeared, he saved us, not because of any works of righteousness that we had done, but according to his mercy, through the water of rebirth and renewed by the Holy Spirit. This spirit he has poured out on us richly, through Jesus Christ our Savior, so that, having been justified by his grace, we might become heirs according to the hope of eternal life. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When the angels had left them, gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Good to see you all on the Christmas dawn mass here. Thank you for coming. And today, the readings are very clear that we have a Savior. We have Jesus Christ, who came to save the human race. And we all accept Jesus as our God. And when we accept him, what are we offering him every day? He tries to offer us every day his his whole self. 
And that's what we see on the altar. Every mass that is offered every day that he continues to offer us. And what do we receive by offering him on the altar? We receive his light. We receive his glory. We receive his mercy. We receive his compassion. Everything. All that he wants us to share with the humanity, God has shared with us. And so, let us allow him to be reborn again in our lives every single day. So every day when we celebrate Mass, actually Jesus is being born again on the altars everywhere in the world. There is 24-7 Masses offered all over the world. It's amazing. Especially, a um, lot of people realized during the COVID when the Masses, was, masses were offered online. There are people who constantly, like they, they were following some of the channels that they kind of made a, a, a survey and they said it is amazing that there is no single minute in a day that is left without being mass offered on the altar. Because of the time differences maybe for sure. Not even a single minute. So there are people who constantly followed and made a survey and finally they said this is so amazing that 24 7 all the days that they were able to for a month I guess they made a survey and they, they kind of came to final um, solution uh, final uh, statement saying that there is every single minute there is no single minute left without mass being offered there is somewhere in the world that Mass is being offered. So let us allow him today to be reborn again in our lives every single day. So let us also show our gratitude and goodwill by generously sharing our Savior, reborn in our hearts with others as love, kindness, mercy, forgiveness, and humble service. All that Jesus taught was love and forgiveness. I don't know if uh, Joe allows me to share the, the Fatima incident. Fatima and her brother, she sent him a request long, long years ago, a friend request on the Facebook. And last night she found that he accepted her friend request. And she's so thrilled. There will be differences between us for sure, brothers and sisters. But that should not keep on. We need to forgive and forget. That's all about Christmas. Because we are all loved by God. All the humanity is loved by God. There is no doubt in that. And when we share that love, it has to be a true love. A true forgiveness. True reconciliation has to happen. And that's when we, we rejoice. That's when we become peaceful. That's when we enjoy our life peacefully without any tensions. If there is any hesitation in forgiving each other, for sure there will be some kind of hesitation in our lives as well, some confusions, some utter failures sometimes because we are not able to accept and realize how good God is and how good each other, our neighbors are. So we need to have a Christmas gift the Christmas child because we are celebrating his birthday today. So we need to have a birthday gift for him and tell him, Lord, I give my heart today. And I, I totally give myself to you. And so that makes us to transform us, transform ourselves. See, the shepherds were told the good news and they went with a lot of doubts in their hearts. And they saw exactly what they were told. They found Mary and Joseph and a child wrapped lying in the manger. And that kind of visitation to Jesus made them to receive that light, that sparkle, the grace. And when they went back, they did not go quietly. They went on praising God, glorifying God for sending God himself into this world to save the humanity. So, brothers and sisters, as we partake in this Eucharistic celebration, 
I invite you all to offer ourselves this morning Jesus who came to save us. As we offer on the altar the bread and wine, let us offer ourselves too. We are more precious than that. The human race are the most precious children on earth for God himself. We are precious gifts for him. That's why he has come to save us and love us and forgive us. Give us his blessings always. It is we who sometimes not accepting his love or maybe not knowing that he is loving us. So let us try to offer our hearts today as shepherds offered themselves and glorified God and see the miracle of Christmas in each of our lives. And surely God will bless us and God bless us all of our families. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And now please rise and profess our faith. I believe in God. Father. crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and he seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Brothers and sisters, now, let us place all of our trust in Jesus and pro place all of our intentions and intentions of the church. For the church called to see with the eyes of faith God's living presence in our midst. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the world's children, precious sacraments of God's gift of life, we pray to the Lord. For people in our midst who in this season joyfully Joyful light, walk in darkness, loneliness, and despair. We pray to the Lord. Lord and for us now, and for our families, call to recognize God's presence in all things and in all of us. We pray to the Lord. Lord for all the names that appear in our memorial plaques, uh, and all their souls rest in peace, and all their families be blessed. And for all of our beloved ones, whom we miss at this Christmas time. Let us recall them and pray for them that they in return they may send forth God's blessings upon us. Let's pray for Halina Aksamet, for her healing. As the Christ, the miracle of the world, may do miracle and give her the healing. And let's pray for Maria, and her brother, Manuel Rodriguez, and all her family, and for all of us gathered here today. May God fill us with his love, peace, happiness, and prosperity, and give success to all of our works. And let us bring all these intentions to the altar with the powerful intercession of our Blessed Mother. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Please be seated for the preparation of the gifts. Please join in singing, Angels We Have Heard on High, page 320, 320. <laughs>
Let's pray, my dear brothers and sisters. Amen. Let us pray. May our offerings be worthy, we pray, O Lord, of the mysteries of the Nativity this day, that just as Christ was born a man and also shone forth as God, so these earthly gifts may confer on us what is divine, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in the mystery of the Word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our minds, so that as we recognize in him God made visible, we may be caught up through him in love of things invisible, and so with the angels and archangels, and with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. <clears throat> the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks he broke the bread gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of all things. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with our Pope Francis, our Archbishop Maurice Chatelain and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Saint Joseph, our spouse, with all the Blessed Apostles, Saint Lawrence, Saint Francis de Sales, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ.
to him and with him and in him O God Almighty Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever the Savior's command and formed by the divine teaching we dare to pray our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil and graciously grant us peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who set your apostle, peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of the church gathered this morning and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Brothers and sisters, the peace and joy of Christ be with you always. Let us bow to each other and wish the sign of peace. Peace of Christ be with you all. sisters and brothers behold the Lamb of God behold him who takes away the sins of the world blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only you say the word and my soul shall be healed by the body and blood of Christ in the vision and life Amen. Communion hymn, What Child Is This? Page 338, 338. What child is this? Page 338. <laughs> Oh, mm -hmm. 
Good morning, everyone. I would like to wish all of you from Flo, uh, Bernadette, and Connie, uh, and the rest of the CWL members, I would like to wish you all a very Merry Christmas, all the best in 2023. Just be safe, happy, healthy, and have lots of peace in 2023. I wasn't going to serve coffee and dainty, or uh, coffee, cookies, and tea after mass today, but I woke up this morning saying I don't have to go anywhere until 2 o'clock, so I'm going to be serving coffee, tea, and cookies after mass. Whomever would love to stay, I'd love to have you, okay? Thank you and have a good day. Merry Christmas. Mario Leclerc, from the Knights of Columbus, we'd like to invite you all on January the 8th after Mass to the St. Lawrence Hall for a come and go tea, snack, we'll have different snack, whatever, for Father's departure, because on the 9th, he will be leaving Thompson for good back to India. So on January 8th, we'll have if we have people coming until four in the afternoon, we'll be open until four in the afternoon. So let friends and relative and other family knows as much as you can. Thank you. Thank you, Mario. I'm surprised you are kneeling down with your operated knee. So we pray for you, Mario, that you get well soon. And uh, yes, uh, eighth is my last mass here on Sunday. Uh, that's my completion of 12 years here, and then I'm going back to India because my mother is sick. So I'll be working in India, uh, one of the churches probably close to my home, so that I can visit my mom very often. So thank you. And uh, thank you, Burley, for coming all the way from Brandon. <laughs> he just came for Christmas to be with us. So Burley used to be our parishioner, and now he moved to Brandon a year ago, or two years ago. And now he's here and his family. Thank you for coming. And thank you all those who are here for Christmas morning Mass. And I know a lot of you have come last night Masses as well. Yesterday we had two Masses. And a lot of you have come over for last night and evening Masses too. But you made it sure that you are here for morning Mass as well. Thank you. And after this Mass, I will be going to Nelson House for uh, Christmas Mass to Nelson House people at 1 o'clock. So please pray for my travels there. <laughs> uh, yes. Let us rise and pray for the final prayer and the blessings. Let us pray. Rejoice, O daughter of Zion. Lift up, lift up praise, daughter of Jerusalem. Behold, your king will come, the Holy One and Savior of the world. Grant us, Lord, as we honor with joyful devotion the nativity of your Son, that we may come to know with fullness of faith the hidden depths of this mystery, and to love them ever more and more. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may the blessings of Almighty God come down upon all of us here, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace and joy of Christ. Thanks be to God. Thank you and Merry Christmas and stay warm with your families. Have a good turkey. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Our final hymn is Joy to the World, page 328, 328. <laughs>